We're getting Judah back. We're getting our pastor back. So people wanted to know. People we're getting back. Judah back. We're getting our there we go. You're back. Okay. What happened? I have no idea. It just jumped off. It wasn't me, I promise. Can you hear us? Okay, so we're back. Right? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so basically, for those that are just tuning back on, I think some of our, um, everyone's coming back on, but yeah. basically we were at the point to where is when we needed to have the ring for my side, the wedding, we didn't have the ring. So like I said, when we were like, okay, and you're like in the ring, and then like Russ had mine and it was time for me. And then I said, I turned to my right and then every girl turned to the right and then the last girl looked at the wall. So then, yeah, that's exactly what it was. And then everybody's head came back to the left and won no ring. So then Terrible. Hannah, uh, one of my bridesmaids, she literally dropped her dropped flowers, her flowers boom, gone. took off behind the altar, straight to the room. She said, she's from Sweden, so she has like this act. She's like, if I was a ring, where would I be? You know? Well, meanwhile, hey. she's upstairs. She's upstairs scouring these rooms. And Judah, Turn I'm, everything I'm, on, I'm on the other side. Judah's in the middle of us and Sierra's over here. But basically, Judah's in the middle of us. And uh, I'm like, so uh, Judah, um, he's looking at his Bible. You know, he's got his, he's got his, <laughs> he's got his Bible out. You know, he like this, he like this. He like this. He's in here, he like, he's like, so, um, yeah, so <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you guys want to do? And we're like, is there any way we can keep going? Or like, I mean, a song. You know? And I'm, he's like, oh, you thought about it. You thought yeah, about yeah, yeah, it. You yeah. thought about it. You oh, thought then, about it, though. You're then like, then we was almost talking about your ring. You're like, no, we can't. Wasn't there something about, like, we was almost like, the, like we were trying to figure out, like, ideas of, like, how can we, we get do? a ring for and now? Then you were like, no. Right. Then we was like, we got to wait. Mm -mm. We got to do this right. Yeah. We got the exchange of the ring. So without a ring, we couldn't exchange. So it was like, no. We can't do that. So he was, I was like, okay, well, how about, hey, Marvin. We're like, hey, Marvin. He was up above us. I was like, Marvin. Marvin. Uh, can, you, uh, can you sing a song? And all of a sudden, like, the heavens started singing. Never would have made it. Yeah, they started Go singing. They started, they started singing. We, tears started falling out of eyes. That was, that was like the best moment. That was like the best moment. So he, and, he just hey. sang two extra songs. Thanks, Marvin, by the way. We didn't, I don't know if we had to cover those two extra <laughs> no, songs. Uh, the Lord blessed us. But, uh, yeah. Marvin came through. But anyway, so that was cool. Uh, so Marvin came, came through with them two songs. Never would have made it. We got like three songs in that moment. He two, made three songs. About two and a half. And so. Remember he lulled. He lulled thinking he was done. And I was like, uh, Mr. Um, Sapp, sir, you just go ahead and keep on going. Uh, can you uh, do that one? Like, can you do a different one? Can you add one more in there? And then, thank God, God's grace, by God's grace, he Ooh. was looking out for us on that day. Hannah came back in time with the ring. The ring was under my bed because they were doing photos of the rings that day. They had our rings placed on top of each other and everything. And Russ and the guys were responsible, got the ring back for the fellas. But for some reason, the ladies, we didn't have the ring. So <laughs> Hannah came back, got the <laughs> ring, um, and then everything else flowed. And it made for a good conversation because a good story, you know? And that's life. Life's either what? a good experience or a good story. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. boom. What good is a wedding without forgetting the wedding ring for you? I remember thinking to myself, we're going to remember this forever. This is actually oh, yeah. awesome. Oh, it was. It was. It was, was. was kind of funny. But hey, I just want to put it out there. It was not my fault. It's not the bride's fault. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you got, you had you plenty know. on your mind. See, that's the quarterback's fault. But I literally, before we walked in, well, I said, you we got the took, ring. You done took no. a while come downstairs too so i thought you done left <laughs> oh, remember, wedding? remember judah we were supposed to start at 6 30 which you should know you're never going to start at 6 30 at time a wedding never. never starts on time no, sure enough it's 7 45 everybody so you've been that. doing weddings for like how for who got for however how long uh, right? 62 years see it's been <laughs> quite an extensive ministry <laughs> so okay but for the times you've been for the 62 years you've been doing it hmm. Have you really ever had a wedding be on time? Not one wedding on time, but I will say that's the first time we ever lost a ring. <laughs> you hold that place in my heart. We have never lost. We've, we've lost a ring bearer. I've, we've lost wedding parties. We've lost a coordinator. Never lost a ring. Until never lost a ring. Your wedding. Dang. But, I'm, but let's be well, honest. That Marvin Sapp was not at every other wedding either, so the Lord knew. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to yeah, tell you, yeah. listen, 
That means that, you know, our wedding was unforgettable. <laughs> uh, to say the very least. Sierra, <laughs> I remember part of doing weddings, the coolest part is that as a, as a pastor, you get to be the closest and you get to feel like the energy and the passion between the couple. And it's nothing short of exhilarating. And when I saw you walk down that aisle, and I saw QB1, as we affectionately call him for those of us that are in the NFL. And I saw the tears in his eyes and his body shaking. He was so, oh, man, I will never forget that. And I was you, shaking. You, you were shaking <laughs> to your core. You better tell the truth and shame the devil. I, 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 I was shaking in the Holy Spirit of what I was doing. I was shaking. It was I was the shaking presence of Jesus. It was the kiss yeah. of God. Yeah, oh. amen. Yeah. I know. I saw his eyes when I walked down. Walked down the aisle. My dad took me down. My dad was crying I was like too. This. Oh, I was, my I was trying to keep it cute, good. you know. I was trying not to mess up the makeup too early, you know. So I was, I was holding on in there. And then Marvin Sapp, we got to that song. She wore a veil, though, y'all. That thing kind of scares me. No, he, he kept saying he didn't I like know, the idea I'm of a veil. I'm gonna tell y'all, you look pretty in your veil, but veils kind of scare me sometimes. Babe, because you don't know what's under there. But you know, you ain't got to be. You know what's under there. That's but what I'm know, saying. Like, <laughs> like, what? You act like this was an arranged marriage and you never met her or something. No. I'm exactly. Just saying, I'm this ain't, the, you know, blind loving it, you know. Love is blind. That's what the show is called. Blind, love is, <laughs> said blind loving it. Uh, love, love is blind. Love is blind show. Is blind. We ain't on the love and blind show. She got me watching this show all the time, too. I don't watch Have you? Have you said, I don't know. If you, I don't watch the reunion blind, three, three times now. I've seen yeah, two or three episodes, but. um. I just get too involved emotionally, and I get grieved, I get sad, I get mad, and I'm like, I don't, I can't do this. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely, it takes you on a roller coaster ride, uh, but it's fun, it's entertaining, it's crazy how someone can, like, meet someone through a pod and, like, say, will you marry me, and then never seen the person. It's That's kind of crazy. It's That's such kinda, a cool that concept. That's trippy right there. Huh? It's such a cool concept, right? It's wild. No, it's it's definitely brilliant. It's really good to watch. And then um, sidebar, there's a couple on there, Cameron and um, Lauren. I love them. Um, but anyways, um, they're so cute. I mean, because from the beginning, you're like, I think they found something. No, it's it's like they, they're they deeply connected. No, you deeply connected when you connect through a pod and you can't see nobody for the first year until you say you won't marry me. That's some deeply, that's some deep connection. Um, hey, can I just but, say? Yes. Sierra, you are, you have to be pound for pound the most gifted, talented, electric, magnetic person, no disrespect, Russ, that I have ever, I swear to God, um, if, if, if you want a well, job as a pastor, you let me know. Oh, hey. She can preach. No, she can preach. That is very sweet of you. See, you, you can preach. You're incredible. I love that it. Is hey, really can I ask cute. you guys a couple questions? Can I ask you yeah, a couple of questions? Yeah, of course. Yeah, let's, let's go. Okay, let's we're all going to ask something to you in turn, too. We're all going through tough times. What is the number one advantage, strength, or key that you guys are using right now as a couple when going through tough times, going through uncharted waters? It's mysterious. Mm -hmm. It's unknown. What's mm -hmm. the key? Is it communication? Is it sex? Is it touch? <laughs> what is <laughs> <all of them. laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Um, it's, um, all of the above. Um, no, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I really do think communication is key and I think syncing up with each other because both Russ and I, as you know, even though we're being still, we're still trying to make sure we keep things in line with our businesses. And as we all know, every business is filling it, even our business partners, you know, we have ownership in the sounders, um, and the sounders right. are filling it. So we're, we're in the same boat as everyone. Um, but I feel like the thing that helps us like during this time is like you said, communicating, like, cause we also have the kids as well. Yeah. So the time carve out is key as well, because now we don't really have the break moment, you know, that you would have when kids go to school and the house is quiet and then you have a chance for you. So, you know, it's really, um, communicating is huge for us and then trying to figure out how to still compartmentalize our day, compartmentalize slash schedule our day, I think is kind of still important you know you can't schedule every little detail but like we were still saying we always had date nights on friday but we can't go to a restaurant right now so right. you know what are we gonna do we're well, we gonna make some date night in the house we're gonna still make sure we have our moment 
to do our date night, you know, still keeping some of our traditions alive to the best of our ability. Um, but I, I would say staying connected on every level is, um, you know, very important <laughs> during this time. What, what I would say is, uh, I think, you know, prayer is important, you know, and, uh, you know, I think that's the first thing, you know, I, praying I, I together. Think, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think praying together, praying on your own too. Yep. I think all of that is, uh, I think all of that's super important. I think to be able to just give God thanks in the midst of the storm mm -hmm. is important. And then, like you said, I think just communication for us has always been the number one thing to be able to communicate with one another and to, to be able to just talk through everything and, and I think through that you gain you gain love, you gain trust, you gain uh, you know perspective, you gain a lot of things. And I think that us being able to do that is super important to be able to communicate. What if it's about our kids? What if it's about us? What if it's about the circumstances? What's going on around the world? You know, what can we do to help? You know, how can we help our community? How can we help the people around the world? Like, what can we do? And let's communicate. Let's talk about it. And we have great teams too. A great great team of people that help us and in, right. in the thought process of. You know, her world's super busy with music and everything she's got going on, all, mm -hmm. all the amazing stuff she's got going on. And, and uh, she's, you know, from, from music to, to life to business to fashion to this to that. To, I mean, everything she has going on, I mean, she's, she 10 X's me in terms of all the stuff she's got going on in such a cool way. And, uh, and so for me, um, you know, I think, you know, to be able to support one another, but also have people support us too. Um, yeah. And just praying that. Um, when, when, two, when, when two people come together, you know, God is there. And so, Spirit also, is there. So. I, and I think, too, I think the simple things like doing a couple FaceTimes, like we've talked to some of our friends, you know, or I think the FaceTime has been huge for us during this time, like FaceTiming that's with true. our friends and, um, you know, checking in that way because that's how we kind of still feel connected. Um, yep. You know, um, doing things like that. But, mm -hmm. Yeah, can, I, can, I, can I try to predict your guys' love language? You know, there's five love languages. Yes, what, what, are the, what are the five again? Please predict them. I, yes, talk to them. What are the five again? So we got Everybody else knows them. Quality yeah, time. Quality time. That's yep. how you feel. This is how you feel loved, how you feel like you are valued and loved. It could be quality time. It could be acts of service. It could be touch. It could be mm -hmm. words of affirmation. And it could be, what's the fifth one? Uh, five love languages, acts of service, touch, quality right? time, touch, touch right? words of affirmation, and gifts. 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 That's my mom. Um, I want to predict. Russ is, <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> Russ is touch and words, and C is quality time mm -hmm. and also touch. Am I right? Yeah. I am. I am definitely quality time. Quality time. Oh, quality yeah. time with you. Hey. Okay. 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 Hit yeah. the nose. Yeah. Y'all look at my pastor. But he's a saint. <laughs> and he got and he got fur on or whatever that is. You're <laughs> this is fake sheepskin, man. This is fake <laughs> sherpa. Sherpa. From Urban sherpa. Outfitters. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Sherpa, sherpa, <laughs> sherpa Smith. <laughs> oh hey, my god so if that since you're both quality time have you guys yep. decided like hey during the quarantine we're gonna set that's what you're saying right we're gonna set aside yeah that's what time. i'm saying is we do that because like even like we actually connected the other day because we both have been rolling and like because we do have businesses that honestly can be a bit time consuming to whereas we're literally trying to make sure that we everything is running how it's supposed to run and so sometimes with that it borrows a lot of your time and then Ooh. before you know it, the day goes by, and then it's like, okay, wait a minute. What about our time with each other? What about our touch that we need with each other? We're, we're a little out of touch in this moment. Like, let's get this. Like, let's, you know, let's, let's get reconnected here. Like, let's talk about our flow. Because yep. I think for everyone, when this all happened, no one expected it. Like, I was saying to someone earlier, I'm a homebody. But once somebody tells you you have to stay inside, then it's like, it's weird. It's like out, all of a sudden is something different. Is it feels different? But we've always been inside. But the reality is, it's a different kind of way of being inside. So, you know, the, us communicating about our day, our flow, is huge. And so we actually just had like our. We even had to put on our schedules because we had other stuff going. Like our time slot, we would get together to talk about like whatever business things we had going and whatever else we needed to, you know, um, talk about and make sure we were in sync about in sync on that. You know, totally. Ch Chelsea and I, my, my wife of 20 years, we're doing a daily debrief. 
She said, babe, oh. what I need is quality time, conversation, and connection. So once a day, mm -hmm. we could walk around the block while we still can. Uh, yep. We'll sit down and do a, a proper debriefing. How was your day? What's on your mind? What have you been thinking? It's amazing yep. how we assume because of proximity that there's connection. But connection is only comes from intentionality, not proximity. Effort. Uh, we can, we're connecting right now, and we're not close to each other at all in terms of our proximity, but we're being intentional with our communication. I think that's, that's so huge. critical right now for all of our relationships. Huge. I agree with that. That's effort, you know. Um, yeah. You got to make an effort, right? Like you said, you can be there, but not be there. Right? We can that's be here, so but we got to be here. We got to be here. here. Well, I think that's the good thing about this time. <laughs> I think that's the good thing about this time, too, is because you know, normally we're moving around, and as you know, Judy, we're constantly doing stuff, you know. So I think for us to be able to spend that quality time together, spend time with the kids, be here, you know, be in the now, all that, is, I think, super important. I, um, And I think it's also important to be able to – to you know just you know just have a plan you know for the day and you know because these are all stressful times yeah um, for everyone and so i think um i think it's important for us to stay connected you know yeah so, absolutely and you know as quarterbacks obviously you yeah. and i are still getting our throws in you know what i mean like i gotta stay sharp for the for the season so i'm out still throwing the ball around at, at true, the true, thought true. that maybe qb3 would be needed yeah, so no. Nah, <laughs> yeah, we don't need to do that. But, uh, no, but I, I, uh, what about you guys? What what what's like? Um, what are you guys focused on right now? You obviously being a pastor and stuff like that. And you're you guys are doing so much stuff with the church home app and stuff. Um, if you guys don't know, this is Drew Smith, by the way. If you, you guys should download if you're looking for 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 more 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 uh, relationship with God, man. Judah's the guy. But anyway, he is the guy. <laughs> church home app. So. You guys are doing all that, but what are you guys doing? You know, obviously, if you guys are cooped up in the house. What are you guys doing for you and Chels to stay connected? Yeah, yeah. We're just doing that yeah. daily debrief for sure. So we're committed to get uh, – If it doesn't matter what time of day it is, but we make a, a commitment to each other. At some point during the day, we're going to have a debrief. We're going to sit down with each other, look each other in the face, and be like, bam, how you doing? What are you feeling? And, again, the assumption. Assumptions is what kills communication and relationship. You assume you're doing okay. You assume everything's good. You assume. And then your partner and your spouse is like, well, I better be okay because they never ask. So then, then the game begins and you're playing games. You're not even being authentic yeah. and genuine. So when you set aside not emotional, uh, when you're not, not emotional and you set aside a dedicated time, then it's not emotion that drives that connection and communication. It's love mm -hmm. and care because I think sometimes we're like, hey, you're not there for me. I need you to be here. You know, like, because yeah. you don't have that prepared space to connect and so yeah. you know me i could get emotional jesus help me right <laughs> now. yes we do i'm trying not to raise my i can't i can't do a little bit i can't do a little bit but i think it's either <laughs> really <laughs> really <laughs> me, me. You're talking about hey you. russ can i tell a story on you about the mm -hmm. sidelines one time in a game oh yeah it's a good story please so yes i want to hear this have i heard this one, before I don't know if you have. I don't know if I've heard so, it, but go ahead. <laughs> so I don't want to get into it. I'm on the sidelines, you know, for some of the games. <clears throat> but I'm on the <laughs> sidelines, and I'm trying to act like I do something as the chaplain of our team, the Seattle Seahawks. And Russ gets hit real hard, which, which, which happens a lot. He takes an amazing amount of hits. But he comes off, and the staff's looking him over. And so he gets, and he gets on the bike, and so I start praying. I'm like, Jesus, protect him right now, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. You know, like I'm doing everything I know how to do. And I look over on the bike and he goes, Judah, Judah, get over here. Get over here. So then I get nervous. I'm like, oh, man, it's in the game. Like, what am I going to say? So I walk over there and Russ is like, they told me I'm injured. I'm not injured. I'm strong. <laughs> I'm blessed. I'm healthy. You know that. Tell me that's true. And I'm like, yeah, you're good. I love you. Like, I don't even know what to say. He had so much conviction and passion. And within moments, you were back in that game. And I will never forget that because I'm like, I have met very few people on this planet like you, Russell Wilson, who have the faith, belief. Like, you were just declaring, I'm healthy, I'm strong, and I'm getting back in that game. And I'm telling you, no devil in hell would have stopped you from getting back in that game. Uh, Wait, was, that, out the game. was that horse collar? Was that, that was the that one was, that got me from behind, right? Was that the one where they that, pulled on his right. collar? 
Oh, I won't forget that one. Her money, the... Yeah, I got that number. That person that pulled on him. Mm -hmm. on yeah, we I see you. That. We yeah. see you. And when I see you in them streets, I was like, <laughs> so I'm not playing. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but I remember that game when that happened. Um, I was actually talking to someone, and I never take my eyes off the field when he's playing. Whenever a snap is happening, like I, someone can be in there, like, hold on one second. I'll look this way while they're talking to me. Right. And I remember that game. Um, he went back in. He was not supposed to go back in the, on the field. And he went out nope. there. Hey, hey yeah. you told the whole staff. You're like, I'm good. I'm going to be all right. I'm going back. And I was like, yeah, he's, he's yeah. good. And he like, literally I was trying to match my face, man. I really was. <laughs> <laughs> trying to match the face. Um, but, yeah, this is awesome, Judah. You got to do it more often. Yeah, we got to do it more often. We're going to start doing these more live videos. I think we're going to start doing You should start doing more live videos for, for people. I think yeah, cool. start doing some you more fun. Yes, please. And yeah. then I think what we could do is we could have a, we could have a part, another – we had a part two, a part three, part four conversations, you know, where you you hop on and chat with us because I think your perspective on just like, just everything, like faith, you know, I think the world we all need, you know, we all need to do a faith check-in, um, a mm. spiritual check-in, especially during times like right. this. Um, I think that's, you. you know, huge. Um, if, if, if there's a time when we need to have faith, it couldn't be a time greater than this. Um, yeah, but just, you know, in general, we got to have it, you know, in our everyday walk of life yeah um yep. but i think it'd be great if we could um you know get on and we chop up the chop it up. as you said you've been married um you're frozen can you hear me that you've been married for 20 years yeah i can hear you <clears throat> married 20 years amazing so yep. i think there's so much wisdom like up. you know oh can you hear can you hear us yeah we can hear you now what's <laughs> up on my birthday girl um, <laughs> your nails. Let me see your nails. I just I keep discovering new mean? stuff. Oh my goodness. See, I'm sorry. It's just for how, a day. How long see? those nails going to stay on for? For like a week or two. Oh, a week or two. Yeah, just she's like I'm ready. Just, just know you're her hero. See, so she's just following your lead. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Listen, let me ask you this question: When you talk with your nails, how do you talk? Do you be like, okay, so daddy. Um, you know, I was thinking, how do you talk with those nails? How do you talk with those nails? <laughs> let's see, let's see. What? I don't know. <laughs> she's, trying to, she's trying to keep them down, but she really want to be like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I know you do. <laughs> um, but yeah, it'd be fun, I think, for you know us to to keep con connecting with our with everyone that's here that's watching, and you know, couples, not even just couples. I think people that are single yeah. too. I think it's, I think it's important for everyone. Like we all just talk about the good stuff that we, we do when we normally talk when no one can hear us talking, totally. uh, but for the fans, um, this is awesome. Well, I love you guys so much. And I'm thinking about you. Uh, I pray for you every day. That's the norm, but, but especially right now we're praying for you. We're going to have the best 11 year old birthday possible. We're going to celebrate. Hey. And I, I cannot wait to talk to you guys again. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to, and, we are declaring that birthday is going to be so lit. Come on. It's going to be like quarantine what? Quarantine birthday what? Quarantine, <laughs> quarantine is you the best birthday. I'm trying to tell you, you ain't never had a quarantine birthday like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. All right. Well, I love you guys. Love you guys love so you. much. Happy Thanks birthday, Jesus. I'll see you, Okay. Bro. Bye. Okay. Yeah, love you. All right, love y'all. Bye. All right, guys. We are going to, we're going to wrap this yeah. thing up. We've been going, but. Like Russ said, um, we're going to do some more fun chats um, with everybody, um, with you guys, some of our friends. Um, and we are going to keep this thing going together. We are all in all, this Y'all want us to do it more? But actually, before we leave, babe, we should ask, answer some of these questions. They've been oh, I know. Well, we, they also asked yes. about the first, who said that? Who said I love you first? Okay, so what do we do? Say the next minute, we just kind of close out with like let's a couple give, of let's questions. Give, let's, give a, let's give them a, a two-minute warning. Okay, two, two minute, minute offense here. Two minute offense. So they, we'll, we'll always try to give you a two minute offense answering some of y'all's questions. So the first question y'all asked was, "Who said love y'all love you first? So who do you think? Who said? do you think said I love who you first? Let's think? see. Let's who see. Put it down there. What y'all think? Let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to see the answers. What y'all think? They said Sierra. They're rolling. Boom. They think me. They think me, they say you. I don't know. 
Well, well, listen, I'll tell you what happened. So I said it first. And, you know, we used to always kind of joke. The beginning of it is like, I used to always say to her, I'm going to love you a long time, you know? And she was like, oh, Yeah. I love you a long time. He's saying I love too. you in that thing. Like, but I was, is he I saying was teasing, I love you? She, she knew. You know, she knew. I wasn't saying it, saying it. But then when we said it, do you remember where we were? Yeah, I do. We were in Texas mm -hmm. um, at Nick and Sam's. Mm -hmm. And uh, love that restaurant. We were talking, and uh, I said to you, you know, Listen, I think this time has been amazing, and you can see us now. Yes, okay. Basically, uh, how this time has been so special, and everything that's been time with you. And, um, you know, I just really, really enjoy my time with you. I just want to let you know that I love you. And, uh, I was like, Whoa! say what did you just say? I love you too. <laughs> that was okay, that, was that. Okay, next let's question. question. Next question. Let's see what you got here. Okay. Someone yeah, said my husband said it first. Okay, let me see you guys. Let me get like two more questions here, and then we're going to sign off, guy. People are going to ask some questions here. Some good ones. Um, I asked who will be first. We did favorite. That's when, when I asked when the next, next live session is. Oh, we're going to have to let you guys know. You guys want us to do more live sessions? I think this has been fun. Yeah. So give us a thumbs up or a yes if you want us to do more live sessions. And we'll start doing that. that no, good question. Oh, we should do this. We should do yeah. this for fun. They want to know. They want to know what the. Uh, oh, we, oh, you we pressed it. it. You oh. can do it like that. That's cool. Oh. So a cop 31111 a again. It's like acapella, but with oh. a three. Okay, you got that. Acapella gems. <laughs> um, I'm going to be silly. But anyways, they want to know uh, the gender reveal. Well, we haven't figured that out yet. But you guys want to know? We, maybe we could do that. Maybe we could do that in the next week or two, man. Mm -hmm, figure that out. We can. Do that in the next week or two. That could be kind of fun. Okay, that would be fun. We'll do that on our Good on question. one of our lives with you guys. Good question. Shout out to Acapella. We got them, put it up got them long How are we going to put can't... it up there and not answer it? We answered it, didn't we? I mean, we did, but you know. You know, you got them long nails. Let me okay, let's see. Let me, let me okay. handle this. Um, um, scrolling down. One here. more question here. Are the kids excited? You want to do that one? I don't know. Huh? Yeah, we can. We can do that. That's easy though. Go ahead. Okay. Are the kids excited about the baby? We'll click this one right here. This is our last question. All right. You want to do the last? You want to do one more? Yeah, you know, we have one. We'll give you one more. Okay, cool. Our kids excited about the baby? Yes, the kids are super excited. They are always kissing. Um my belly and they're checking on the baby and they say uh, they'll say big sisters here big brothers here um and it's the Pretty cutest cool. thing they're literally obsessed with checking on my belly um and they they'll tell people guess what we're having a baby they'll yell it out sometimes on our facetime calls with our friends or one time sienna said we're having a baby today it was like <laughs> no 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 she just learned that's we were the first having day, a baby that's the first day we told yeah she She's just learned we were having, we're having a baby, baby but we we weren't having the baby that day um but that's how excited she was and it's a whole new um thing for her a uh, whole new like uh just a sweet time for her and future they're both so happy all right one more we got a good one here <clears throat> we need one more good one Hmm. <laughs> These are good. Maybe do this one. Oh, we are talking about that. Apologizes here. Uh, where'd you meet? We kind of answered that already. Because <laughs> you ain't playing it right. Say what? Look. Yeah, I'm like, because you ain't playing it. Oh, let's see. Uh, funny. Okay. Uh, we'll ask one more. Getting more questions from you guys. Sorry, we're looking at all these questions. There's so many good questions on here. You guys are great. Here's some good ones. The like, biggest oh, advice to someone, too. No? That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, let's do that one. Bam. Biggest advice to someone single. Um, this is our last question. Um, I think I think biggest advice to someone single is, like, you know, don't rush the process. Um, you know, uh, take your time. Um I think it's a good chance for you to discover and clarify, discover more about yourself, but also clarify what you envision for yourself. Um, as I said earlier, you know, everyone talks about 
you know, the prayers. For me, it's not just one prayer, but when you pray, be, intent be intentional um, and be consistent. I think it's consistent. It's, I think it's important to be consistent in your prayer. Um, if anything, just add to that the, the core values and list of things that you are hoping for for yourself. Um, I've always talked about the importance of self-love. Um, I think loving yourself is really important. Like, you know, to all my girls that, that may be single, that may be single moms. I always tell you, I was that girl, like, get your sexy back. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you're, you're having a baby, I think, honestly, you know, when you have the, the opportunity to have a child, it adds the layer to who you are. It doesn't add another, it, it's not a weight. It's a beautiful thing. So, you know, embrace that and um, work on yourself, love on yourself. Like, I think it's kind of cool sometimes to just be single. Like, there's, that's okay to just be single and like find out who you are and what you're hoping for and expecting for your life. Um, don't waste your life. I think that's what I always say. Don't waste your life. So, you know, um, I think, I think for the fellows too, it's uh biggest advice to someone single, like I said earlier, and, um, as we were doing live earlier is write, write, write out your five non-negotiables, like write out what you really want. And I think you have to have a clear vision of what that looks like. And so that way you can, uh, have an understanding of what you're looking for. Yeah. And God may reveal that to you. You know, I know when I, when I wrote my five non-negotiables three days later, I met C. So that was, uh, that was cool. You know, so that was a blessing in itself. Um, last thing we should do real fast, babe. What's that? We should, uh, we should see if somebody wants to go live with us. Okay, quick. yeah. It's okay, so we'll call like a fan. One, one, two minutes. Let's now, if you're talking crazy, you're going to get that click, click. No, it's playing. Yeah, but we're going to call a fan. But we're going to call a fan. Okay, and then so, this is our last thing. Yeah, Let's last see here. Thing, we're gonna go. Hold on, let's see here. Hold on a second. Um, we're gonna call a random fan. A random fan. Now, if we call you, please talk about something that is good. Okay, it's got to be good. Who do you want to get? Huh? Who do you want to pick? Uh, how about this person right here? Right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Randy yeah. dot show. We're calling you in the show. We're hitting you up. Hopefully you answer, girl. Uh, you've been taking a long time in the show. In the show, I took a little break. Mm -hmm. I'll let you go. What's up? Can you hear us? Hello? Can you hear us? Hello? Rennie, it's Russell and Sierra. I'm not dressed, though. Oh, you ain't dressed up. but we got to call you back, honey. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, we go. We gonna call you back. Well, Rennie, show. Rennie, we want to just hit you up. We just want to say what's up to you and let you know that. Uh, Hi. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> oh my gosh, Rennie, don't put yourself on the camera. You really ain't the camera. <laughs> but yes, but we do. <laughs> yeah, Rennie over here. I, you gotta, Rennie, Rennie you gotta put your clothes back on. We gonna holler Rennie. at you later. <laughs> We, we, we just want to thank you for your support and for chatting Love with us today. <laughs> Love you too, okay, girl. We'll holler at you. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right. One more, one more, one more. Yeah, let's see here. Okay. Who is this person? Who is this man? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, this one? Uh, sure, we can try. All right. Oh, okay. Let's see here. If you hear like this, if you do like this, then we click on who's actually here. Click on that. Guys, we're clearly trying to... Too okay, long. I'm sorry. Get, get, get them By the way, my nails are so like, I need a fill-in. Sienna trying to paint my nails, but these things are like, it's time for a fill-in. It's a, it's a reason. You, you ain't getting a fill-in today. Uh, this thing's... Somebody's... It's not letting me add them again. It does the thing, same thing again. Look, see that? I think it's still connected to her. Uh oh. That's what happened to us last time. Okay, well it's not working, but uh we love y'all. We we'll love y'all. This was fun. This was really fun, guys. And we look forward to chatting with you all again. Um Okay guys, be blessed during this time. Um stay prayed up. Um stay booed up. Mm-hmm. 
maximize this time. It, while it is a tough time for us, this is also a chance for us to get closer with one another and to just cherish this time that we all get to spend because we know when things, um, you know, get back to a better place, it's going to be go time for us all. Um, so we love you guys and we're just grateful for this day. How about this? Five day, five mm -hmm. years since the first day that we met today, cool day. March 26th. March 26th is a cool day. Yeah, we're going to say, a I'm going to say a prayer for everybody on here. Awesome. Just, Let's do it. Uh, just Lord, just thank you for the day. Uh, thank you for five years ago that uh, you put Sierra in my life and uh, you put baby future in my life. And just, uh, just thank you for life. Thank you for breath. Thank you for today. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for technology that we can connect with our fans and people. Um, and even though we're cooped up in the home that, um, uh, Despite uh, the sorrows and the, and the things that we're going through and the trials and tribulations that we're going through, Father God, you, you put us here to, um, to enjoy one another and to commune with one another and to have community, and uh, we're grateful for that. And just praying for everybody who's out there looking for love, Amen. out there looking for um, uh, restoration, out, out there looking just for what they're looking for, Father God. I ultimately, I hope they find you as a, as a family. have our, our two beautiful kids and the third one on the way <laughs> so, uh, thank you lord in your name we pray amen amen okay, all right we, we love, love you guys. guys and we will see you guys later and uh appreciate you guys and we're gonna do this again so when you guys want to hop on just hop on we're gonna tell us who you who you want us to have on more uh if you have any ideas let us know and uh but really we just had some uh fun la la got some beats today she, <laughs> she figured out what the prayer was today uh Producer Lala, like yours. <laughs> yeah, uh, she she got the the prayer from C, but she also got the prayer from me. Y'all didn't know that. And then ultimately, <laughs> too, uh, Judith Smith came on here, our pastor. So that was cool. But we're gonna do some more, and just um, we love you guys, and uh, we appreciate you guys. And this is the uh, what should we? What are we? What are we gonna call Sign this? Sign out. Yeah, love you guys. Just, love you guys. Having fun with you guys. Love but, us and C. Yeah, we love you guys. We love you all. Okay, we'll see you guys. Okay, peace. Peace.